Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Uh, today we're doing a game from St. Vicious, who's playing Udyr. And immediately, yeah, we immediately see that they all choose the same summoner spells here, which seems kind of odd, especially <laughs> since they aren't really the normal summoner spells. I mean, this top team has the normal summoner spells. And this team seems to go, yeah, very strange, very strange build. But we'll see what happens and why they did this. Um, I have no idea, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure they will have a plan for this. So, Udir, uh, Udir has uh, uh, four different stances which he can use uh, whenever. Um, I don't actually think that... I, I've never played him, just so we're clear on that. But I don't think he has an ultimate, he just has uh, four skills. And uh, you can choose, uh, so the Phoenix stands in this case, at level one if you want to. And I think they're going to try to take down this turret, level one. And um, we'll just have to see if that actually works. It was a tactic that was uh, uh, used in, well, one of the tournaments I watched from, uh, oh, what's his face? Uh, Wicked. So he plays for SK Gaming, and they played against another team who uh, who did this. Well, they did a top lane, so they went all five top lane, and took out the first minion wave, and um, took down this turret, so the top turret. Then went for dragon, got the dragon uh, when it spawned, and then went to the lanes. But by that time, they were so far behind on uh, experience that it didn't actually work. So let's see if, th if this team can actually make it work. And I think Razil actually has her own stream. So Saint Vicious has, I think, a stream. I'm not actually sure. I see his name a lot in the replays so in the replay submissions and they are obviously waiting for something here <laughs> so probably for this guy to walk into the bush and they are going to get the first blood so that's uh, that's very useful because that's uh, 200 plus 400 that's about uh, it's, it's a little more than 600 gold just for that and they are going to teleport to the lanes now I think this, I'm assuming. Oh, they're teleporting to the top lane. And they get a second kill. So that's another 300 plus 160. So that's another 450 gold or so. And they are going to take out this turret then. I have no idea what's going on here. It seems like a very effective strategy. That's why they placed the ward here right in the beginning. And uh, now the minions are going to take the tower shots and they can easily take out this turret and after that yeah well uh, Udyr has to go heal but then probably going jungle oh they're going to get another kill even wow they are losing someone here they're losing maybe a second yeah so they lose two persons here two people here and um, they didn't actually take down the turret yet so but they are going to get it so it's four against two and um, so in the end they end up with four kills and uh, 14 assists against two kills and four assists which is uh, oh that's not four assists. Zero assists. So two kills. Uh, meaning that they have a huge gold lead. And everybody got some gold. And they actually get to defend the bottom turrets. Yeah, the enemy team could have suspected something like that. I'm sure it has been done before. And um, it seems pretty effective. So, with so many stuns and uh, 
and things like that. I mean, uh, Udyr took the stun, Tarek took the stun, and um, uh, Maokai took the stun. So that's three stuns, and probably Shen took the, uh, what's it called, the taunt, and then um, a Singed probably took the uh, toss. So all in all, they have so much CC that the enemy really cannot do anything about this. And now it's a matter of can they keep it up? Can they keep up the pressure to take down another turret or are they just going to go into laning here? Because, well, the problem here is that they are behind on minion kills. Well, not so much. I expected them to be further behind, but they are behind. But not enough to make up for this. And um, I think neither team now has uh, a jungler. And it's important that they keep up the experience. And um, <laughs> yeah, this is a real fun strategy. <laughs> I really didn't expect this. I didn't know what to think of it, because, well, whoever sees revive and uh, teleport on all heroes. Obviously this is a game where they are all uh, on Skype or Ventrilo or whatever it's called. And um, they communicate w which target they should go for. And, well, it seems to work out pretty well. The first teleport was uh, was very nice, so that they could all teleport in without being seen, because the ward is in the bush and the ward is invisible, so you cannot see that people are teleporting in. So they teleport in, and all of a sudden it's five v one in the top lane. Anyway, what we see here now is the enemy trying to push the lanes to get a turret back, to get some, uh, uh, to, to deny some gold. Well, you cannot deny experience in this way, but and they are going to try to get the skill. Doesn't actually work. So he's going for a very aggressive uh, uh, opening. Going bear first for the stun, then going tiger to for the attack speed, and now going turtle. So at level four, so this team is now trying to uh, to be all out offensive, and it seems to work out pretty well. So the teleport was up again, that's why everybody teleported to this ward and they got at least one kill. They should be able to get three here. Yeah, indeed. And they're probably going to fan out, go back to their lanes and uh, defend the turrets. Don't know why he didn't use the revive, maybe it's being used for something else. Or it's supposed to be used for something else. Because I don't know, yeah, I, I understand the teleports uh, for this strategy, but I don't understand the revive yet, as he didn't use it. He just got killed and didn't use it. So maybe they are going to wait for a team fight and then have a, yeah, let's say 10 person team. Because they can then uh, revive, after they die, they can revive and kill the whole enemy team. Because they can just keep pouring people into the team fight. But to do that, yeah, you would need a team fight that's relatively close to your base. Because the speed boost is only going to help you that much. It's not going to help you uh, completely. It's a shame that Tarek didn't have his heal up. Because he could have healed that, I think. Anyway, we're going back, we're going for top lane now. And uh, I wonder what will happen next this game, because 
Yeah, it's uh, Singed is going top, so there's no reason for him to go top, so he's now going bottom. But this is a really different game from what we normally see. So there's uh, a lot more, let's say, tactic in this game. Even though it's not the standard tactic, this is definitely uh, a strategy. And if it works, uh, we might see it used more often in, uh, maybe even in tournaments. Because people can then practice for this strategy. And unfortunately, yeah, this game really isn't made for those kind of things. In um, Heroes of New Earth, uh, these kind of strategies are uh, employed all the time, but that's a game that's actually made to uh, to have strategies in it. So people there go uh, because jungling is impossible. Normally you would go two one two if you have no jungling, but they actually go three one one to level.